Hey guys, today I am doing a celebrity makeup tutorial for you and it is for the actress Margot Robbie. Now she is best known for movies like Suicide Squad as well as Christopher Robin and I, Tanya most recently. Today I'm going to be doing her 2018 BAFTA look and Patty Dobroff was the makeup artist for this and Patty's absolutely phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of the look that she did on Margot Robbie. It's a very nice kind of peach pink girly look. Now I will be doing this much like I did my Emma Stone celebrity makeup tutorial and I'll be using the exact products used on Margot for this. Well, kind of. I'll be doing my own spin on it, so it's going to be with green beauty products. So throughout the video, you'll be hearing the products that I'm using as well as the exact products that were used on Margot. So that way, you know that there is an equivalent to it if you didn't want to go ahead and purchase the original product and you want to do something that was greener and cleaner, but just as amazing. Now, I do want to say that Ear Press sent me some cosmetics to use for this tutorial, which I'm very excited about. Um, I love a lot of these products, so it just just kind of worked out perfectly that this was the look that we kind of collaborated on. So let's go ahead and get started on this Margot Robbie 2018 BAFTA look. Patty is really big on skin. So for this look, I'm using the Ear Perez Quinoa Water Foundation in the shade Haze. It does come in three colors. It's very, very lightweight. It is water-based, obviously, and it has a little bit more of a matte finish. Patty prefers something a little bit glowy. And the sources that I found online said that she used the EX1 Cosmetics line for the foundation and the concealer. I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is because on her Instagram, she did not go into the complexion for this look. Nonetheless, I'm using the one from Air Perez because I wanted something that was going to give me a very light evening out of the skin. I will say this is matte and because I have dry skin, I do need to make sure that I prep my skin. I'm just saying that, putting that out as a disclaimer. I do like the foundation. I just think if you have dry skin, you do need to be a little bit more careful. I am blending it out with the multi-purpose vegan foundation brush again from Air Perez and I find that this is the best way to apply this foundation if you want a little bit more of a fuller coverage out of it. You can see in terms of coverage that it is very lightweight and it just kind of evens out the skin tone and texture, so I do need to go in with a concealer. The one that I am using is from Ilia, and I'm actually using their new True Serum Foundation because I wanted to keep something that was very light but was still going to give me good coverage. So I'm just going in on the blemishes and a little bit under my eyes, and I'm pulling a hair out of my forehead, of course. Um, and like I said earlier, they think that Patty used the EX1 Cosmetics Concealer as well as the foundation, but I'm not entirely sure because she did not disclose that information herself. I'm going into my brows now because Margot definitely has amazing eyebrows. I'm not entirely sure what Patty used on Margot to get her brows, but I know that she definitely kept them very natural and feathery, so I did the same. I just brushed them out, and I am going in with a brow powder on an MOTD angled brush and just filling in the sparser areas of my brows where they kind of need the coverage. I am also going to apologize for the appearance of my brows in these next few videos. I'm currently growing them out and they are growing very well. I've only been doing it for about two weeks, which is pretty crazy. There's been a lot of growth and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to kind of accommodate for that in terms of the cosmetics department. So if you have any tips and tricks for that, leave it down below in the comment section or send it to me in a message on Instagram. I'm going in with the Ilia eyeshadow primer and I'm putting this all over my eyelid all the way up to the brow bone. Now this one doesn't necessarily have a super color to it. I know Patty did use one with a color and we'll see that later on but I just always use an eyeshadow base and this Ilia one is my absolute favorite. Using my ring finger because it's going to apply the least amount of pressure to my eye area and the eye area is very 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 thin skinned so just be super careful. The cream shadow that Patty did use was the Chanel Ombre Premier in Chantillons, which I believe is no longer available. On myself, I'm using the Kosas 8th Muse Saturate and Illuminate Cream Palette, and I'm taking the highlight shade and I'm putting this all over my lid. Essentially, it's just a nice, warm, kind of beigey tone that's going to give a really good stick to any eyeshadow you put over top, as well as enhance the color, because Patty did use pink tones on Margot. 
What I'm doing now is I'm going in with the Ear Perez Eye Palette in Pretty, and I'm taking the first shade that's in that palette, which is a really nice kind of creamy, fleshy tone color, and I'm putting this all over my eyelid, all the way up to the brow bone to act as a good base. It's going to contour my eye a little bit, which is something that Patty made sure to do for Margo because the look was entirely a very pink kind of look. And for that, Patty used the Visi Art Grande Pro Volume 1 palette. A few shades in there were perfect for this for that. I'm using this one from Air Perez, and I've got to say the pigment in it is absolutely amazing, and these eyeshadows apply like a dream. Moving right along, I'm going in with the Line and Blend brush from Air Perez, which they sent along with the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going in with the fourth shade in that palette. It's this really pretty kind of rusty pink color. It's got a really good shimmer to it. And I am blending this all over my mobile eyelid and a little bit into the crease. Now, Patty used the Soku Defining Eye Palette in Hanakari, I believe is how you say it. I will butcher that no matter how hard I try, but there's a gorgeous pink shade that's very similar to the one that I'm using, and she did put this all over the lid. It gives this really gorgeous pink, fleshy, I don't know, girl next door look, and I think that it was absolutely beautiful. This eyeshadow palette from Air Perez is gorgeous, and so is Margot's look. Patty, like I said a million times over, is so talented at what she does. I just can't get over it. I followed up with an eyelash curler. Now a tip that I learned from another makeup artist, Katie Denu, is to take the eyelash curler and curl it in towards the inner part of your eye so you get more of a flared lash look. That's the kind of look that I like to go for. It really just enhances that outer corner. And I did notice that it looked like Margot's mascara was a little bit more enhanced in the outer corner. So I figured this tip worked perfectly. And I then grabbed my Ear Perez Avocado Waterproof Mascara in the shade Black, and I applied this to my lashes. Now, the one that was used on Margot is from Chanel, and I believe it was the La Volume de Chanel. I'm not entirely sure because I can't seem to find that information. In terms of this one here from Ear Perez, I find that I do like it as a mascara for every day. I'm not entirely sure if it's waterproof, but I didn't notice any flaking, which is a huge plus for me especially in the natural mascara market. You do want to make sure that you wiggle this really close to your lash line though because there was definite definition there on Margot, but not enough to say that an eyeliner was used. Plus, I couldn't find that anywhere. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I love a good flush. And the Carrot Color Pot from Ear Perez Cosmetics in the shade Harmony is a really pretty kind of muted pink tone. And it's absolutely glowing. Patty used the Chanel blush in the shade Pink Explosion. And she did a slight swipe on the cheek. So I am being very gentle and ginger with my blush. I am applying it with a buffing brush just so I can really work it into the skin so it does look a lot more subtle. And I'm doing it to both sides. You can see that I did it in an upward motion, which is something Patty did as well to really give a lifted look to Marco's cheeks. The Chanel Rouge Coco Shine Lipstick in the shade In Time was what was used on Margot, and it's a really pretty muted pink kind of taupey color. I'm going back in with the Harmony Pot from Ear Perez and putting that on my lips just to keep everything tonal the same way that Margot's makeup was. I did decide in the end, though, that I did want to go in with the Bite Glossé Lip Pencil and put that on my lips as well. Not a lot, just a little bit. You won't see it in this clip because I didn't film it. It was an afterthought. I just thought that I needed a little bit more taupe. I still really, really love the finish of the Ear Perez, and it did stain my lips beautifully. Obviously, Margot does not need any more bronzer because she's super bronzed, tan, and beautiful. 
I, on the other hand, am kind of pale, so I did need it. And I use the Lily Lolo Honolulu Bronzer. It's one of my favorites, and I just took that on a real technique brush and really buffed it in. Yes, I bronzed my ears and my neck. We've gone over this a million times, but I also dust it along my nose and my forehead just so I get an overall bronzed effect. I really hit anywhere the sun hits me, and obviously because Margot is tan, the sun naturally hits her, so she is bronzed. I could not find any information on a bronzer, whether or not it was used on Margot. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but Patty didn't disclose it, so I'm not going to say that anything was used. That is the green clean version of Margot Robbie's 2018 BAFTA look and the exact makeup used by Patty Dobroff on Margot for that event. I wanted to say thank you to Ear Perez for sending the cosmetics from their company for this video. I did enjoy them and they worked perfectly. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you all next time. Bye!